Hi, my name is Jim. I'm with Adjustable Clamp Company here in Chicago, Illinois. Today we're talking bar clamps, and specifically one-handed bar clamps. We're going to talk about a few different models that are out on the market, uh, and especially ours, which is the Jorgensen ISD bar clamp. It's a one-handed clamp. They're fast, they're easy to use, they're handy, and they're great to have around your shop. But some have real advantages, like the ISD, but others have some drawbacks that I want to show you as well that you can be careful of. So let's talk about one-handed bar clamps and what they can do. Okay, so the first feature that I want to talk about when it comes to these one-handed bar clamps is the clamping force that they can create. These clamps have been very, very popular um, over the past years in how quick and easy they are to use, but one of the biggest drawbacks to these clamps is the lack of force that they have when you compare it to a traditional steel bar clamp. And because of the mechanism inside, they don't develop near the power that a traditional bar clamp uh, creates. And I wanted to show you one of the original bar clamps, that one of the original uh, one-handed clamps that was out on the market. You may recognize this, uh, this clamp. You may have a few in your shop. But I wanted to pull the cover off it and show you the hardware inside. This is one of the original uh, bar clamps. And what I want to point out to you are the springs and the clutch discs, these plates, inside the housing. These are the things that on all of these bar clamps, this is what helps create and hold and uh, get the clamping force on a bar clamp. This is critical to not only develop the force, but also hold it. And one of the biggest disadvantages to these one-handed clamps, for as fast and easy as they are, is that they didn't develop enough force to do a glue up, to pull a mortise and tenon joint together, and to be a real woodworking clamp. Well, that's where the Jorgensen ISD bar clamp has really made some improvements. Even with this brand of clamp, if you go from the original generation to the next generation in the same brand, you'll see that they've added some plates, they've put an extra spring in there, and they've changed the hardware to try and upgrade the force. But still, when you compare it to what we've done with our product, let's put them side by side. You can now see with the adjustable clamp company product, the clutch discs are thicker. I've got three here, three here, six plates total, much thicker, much heavier springs. And what that is going to do for you is turn it into a real woodworking bar clamp. It's going to develop enough force over 300 pounds to get the job done. Okay, the next feature I want to talk about is a really unique feature that the Jorgensen ISD bar clamp has and only the Jorgensen ISD bar clamp has. How many times in your woodworking life or home improvement or you're trying to fix something has this happened to you? You might have a 12-inch bar clamp and not enough clamp to get the job done. But you can try and two hook, hook two clamps together, but it's awkward and it's crooked and it never really works right. Well, we've come up with a great solution to that, which makes the Jorgensen ISD bar clamp one of the best values on the in the clamping market today. What we've done is put a sliding dovetail feature on the end of the head of the fixed head of the bar clamp. So what you do is take your bar clamp and take the head and just turn it 90 degrees. And it just you just push the slide and it locks right in. Now I take a second bar clamp and I do the same thing. I just turn the head 90 degrees. Now I can take the two dovetails, slide them together, and what I've done is create not a 24 inch bar clamp, 
but this is actually a 30 inch bar clamp. I gained 6 inches here because of the heads. So now, instead of not having enough clamp, I actually have more than enough clamp to get the job done. I could clamp this top together. I could do a lot of jobs by taking two 12 inch bar clamps, turning them into a 30 inch bar clamp, and I've just created a clamp that can get the job done. Just think about that. If you go into your store and buy two 24 inch bar clamps, which is pretty typical today, you're walking out of the store with a 54 inch bar clamp at no charge. That's quite a value for you. Now I want to talk about the jaws on the clamp. And we've brought back our competitor's clamp here to take a look at, because this is a pretty typical clamp for a one-handed bar clamp. In this price range, in this category of clamp, these jaws are, are pretty typical in the, in the height, in the width, in the distance from the bar. That's about what you're going to get with almost any one-handed bar clamp that you're going to buy. And it was pretty typical of a Jorgensen ISD bar clamp too, until our latest version, our ISD3, now has new expanded jaws, which is fantastic. If you take a look, you can see we've added a lot more clamping surface to the bar clamp. A lot deeper reach, it's wider and it's deeper. It goes almost all the way down to the bar, which makes it a much bigger clamping surface, which is great for any woodworking application. Let's talk about the reversing feature on this bar clamp. And again, we're going to use the, the fixed head and take it off the bar in its original position. And the way I do that is just depress this bar which makes it real quick and easy to do. I've already showed you how to tie two clamps together by flipping the head 90 degrees, but now I'm going to take the jaw, remove it from the bar, and put it on the opposite end of the bar clamp. And that's all there is to it. Locks right in place. Now I've got a bar clamp that becomes a spreader clamp. I can use it like a little mini jack. I can pull drawers apart. I can pull apart dry fits, furniture repair. It comes in handy, and when you really need a spreader clamp, it's awesome to have one. And that is the Jorgensen ISD3 one handed bar clamp. It's a great value, it's got the most force, it's got the most versatility, the best clamping surface. It's a great value and a great clamp. I know you'll enjoy having it in your shop.